she can use those powerful arms and strong front claws in defense, but mostly she will use them to rip open the next anthill or termite mound. She will then draw the insect into her mouth using her long, sticky tongue, which can be up to 15 inches in length. Now, as far as size goes, the Mandua is mid-sized. There is the larger giant anteater, which is about the same size as a German Shepherd and spends all of its time on the ground. Then there is the smaller silky anteater, which weighs only 14 ounces and spends all of its time up in the trees. The Manduas, however, have taken advantage of both lifestyles. They do well on the ground, but are also very agile up in the trees and can take full advantage of their prehensile tails, just like that. Great job, Mahala! Now, besides using their sense of smell to find food, this sense of smell is also used in all aspects of the anteater's lives. When threatened, they will hiss and release an unpleasant smell. They will also use a smoke motor to mark their territory. So before Kamala decides to lay claim to our audience, we'll have Kimberly take her in the bag. Thank you, Kamala, and thank you, Kimberly.